a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Case of Drassius Keds The case of Drassius Keds is a high-profile criminal case in Lithuania centering on allegations of sexual molestation of the then four-year-old Lithuanian girl and a double homicide. In November 2008, Drasius Keds accused Lemut Stankanite of allowing Andreas users to sexually molest their underage daughter. Frustrated by lack of progress in the investigation, Keds took the case public. He published a video with his daughter's testimony, sent out DVDs to politicians, and appeared in the media. Still no case was brought before trial. In October 2009, Jonas Furman Avicius, a district judge and accused paedophile, and Violetta Narusa Vichyin, aunt of his daughter and accused procurer, were found dead, and Keds became the main murder suspect. While Keds went into hiding, Lithuanian public sided with him portraying Keds as a desperate father trying to protect his daughter against pedophiles. His body was found in April 2010 near Kaunas Reservoir. His death was ruled an accident choking on vomit after heavy drinking. The main suspect in the pedophilia case, Andreas Users, was found drowned in a lake after a motorcycle accident in June 2010. Posthumous trial of Users found him innocent. A separate court ruling restored girls' custody to Stankanite. Lithuanian public disagreed with the ruling and began a vigil at the house of Ked's relatives in Gali Ava where the girl lived at the time. Officials were able to take custody of the girl only with the help of riot police in May 2012. The Way of Courage, a political party founded by Ked's sister and supporters, participated in the Lithuanian parliamentary election 2012 and received almost 8% of the votes. Pedophile Scandal Drasius Keds and his former girlfriend Lemus Stankanite had an out-of-wedlock daughter in February 2004. Stankanite was still underage when she gave birth to Keds' daughter. The unwed couple split up in 2006 and the parents got embroiled in a bitter custody battle. His former girlfriend, with the help from Andreas Users, politician and advisor to the former speaker of the Simas Victoras Muntianas, obtained custody in November 2006. Keds got visitation rights every other weekend. On 29 November 2008 Keds submitted a formal complaint to the police, claiming that users paid Stankanite to sexually molest his daughter. On this basis, in December 2008, Keds obtained full custody of his daughter with no visitation rights for Stankanite. But the courts repeatedly confirmed that Stankanite had no case to answer thus dismissing Ked's allegations against his former girlfriend as unsubstantiated. The pre-trial investigation against users, nevertheless, continued. In February 2009, Ked's further pressed accusations against Violetta Narusa Vichyin, sister of Stankanite, claiming the former has taken part in allowing men to molest her four-year-old daughter. In July 2009, Ked's also accused Jonas Furman Avicius, a district judge, and an unidentified individual known only as aiders of partaking in the molestation. All of those people professed their innocence, and in turn accused Keds of slander, criminal libel, and death threats. Frustrated with the apparent lack of progress in official investigations and convinced that the case was being deliberately stonewalled, Keds sent out some 200 DVDs to Lithuanian politicians, media outlets, and law enforcement agencies featuring homemade video footage of his daughter's explicit testimony against three uncles. He promised to send out the subtitled version to members of the European Parliament. Many sources criticized Keds, who acted as the cameraman, for asking his daughter leading questions, and heavily editing the film. Double Homicide On 5 October 2009 Furman Avicius and Narusa Vichyin were shot dead in Kaunas. Keds became the prime suspect. On the same day, a national search of Keds was announced, which was soon followed by an announcement of international search, as he was thought to have left the country shortly after the murders. Keds' friends Raymond as Ivanauskas and Egle Kate were charged with accessory to murder. As of December 2013, that court case is ongoing. The story caused an uproar in Lithuania, much of the public siding with Keds in the public mind. 
The case was seen as largely a father's futile attempts in pursuing justice and trying to protect his daughter, and by being driven to desperate measures by anger at the injustice. Others questioned whether the killings were in fact commissioned by Keds himself. Death of Keds After six months of police search, Drasius Keds' body was found near Kaunas Reservoir on 20 April 2010. According to the official report, the cause of death was choking on the vomit, whilst being heavily intoxicated. However, his relatives were convinced that Keds was murdered, pointing out to some wounds on his body. Keds' relatives demanded a second opinion from independent experts. In April 2011, a report was received from the Swedish National Forensic Service which confirmed that Keds had indeed died from alcohol and drug poisoning, and that he choked on the contents of his own stomach. Citation needed. On 24 April the body of Keds was buried in Joe Nuclei Cemetery. According to various media reports, some six to 10,000 people from across the country attended the ceremony. Death of Users Users, the main suspect in the paedophilia case, was officially charged with sexual molestation of a minor. However, he was found drowned in a swamp in June 2010. The death was ruled an accident. The court case against users continued. The court found him innocent in November 2012. Custody Battle On 17 May 2012, following a court order, Ked's daughter, who was previously living with Ked's relatives in Garliava, was forcibly reunited with her mother Stanka Knight under court order. Due to continuous presence of protesters disagreeing with the five-month-old court decision, the operation was carried out with the assistance of riot police, with 39 protesters detained. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?